Welcome back everyone to Philip Carter X Official, where I post more about menswear, men's style, men's lifestyle, men's skincare, and of course, perfumery. Everyone, in today's video, we have an amazing lineup for any gentleman's wardrobe or outfit regarding fragrances, and I can't wait to share it with everyone in today's video but just before continuing everyone guys if you haven't subscribed first of all welcome to my channel go ahead and subscribe when you subscribe it helps me to create a lot more content for you guys at a faster pace but i need you guys to go and help me by subscribing to this page to get this channel monetized a lot faster so guys go ahead and do that and if you haven't checked out the patreon page go ahead and send a donation to my Patreon page as that does help me to create more content for you guys as well as I am not affiliated or sponsored by any third party retailer. Now let's go ahead and get into it with today's video. Coming in at number five on this list is gonna be coming in from my favorite perfumery house, Guerlain. And this one's going to be L'Homme Ideal Extreme Eau de Parfum. Okay, guys, we have to talk. We have to talk. This is a masterpiece. 10 out of 10, scratch that. 100 out of 10, no, scratch that. 1 million out of 10. This is a masterpiece fragrance. I recommend this as a blind buy to any gentleman who wants an amazing fragrance. It doesn't matter if you have a collection or you're just looking to smell good. This is a gate kept fragrance and even i hesitated putting it in this list because i just don't want to smell other people who have this fragrance on but at last i wanted to put this in here because i have to share it with you guys this is phenomenal what does this smell like this smells like almond cherry cognac tobacco booze whiskey this is phenomenal i do recommend this for anyone who's just starting into the game of perfumery if you're looking to start you can never go wrong with this this is ozonic it's fresh it has that whiskey boozy nuance to it it has the almond of course so it has those slightly earthy undertones and then that cherry that doesn't go overboard in sweetness it is phenomenal it is masculine it is excellent top notch this is top shelf without any exaggeration and let's go ahead and spray this on my skin so that you guys get an accurate impression of the atomizer on skin and in air as well so let's go ahead and do that one two and three <laughs> top absolutely top and then in air as well <sighs> phenomenal fan Fantastic. And I'm going to put this on because this is my scent of the day. So let's go ahead and spray some on. You can never go wrong with this. And I love to overspray all of my fragrance, guys. This is phenomenal. Yeah, it's really that good. Really, really that good. Again, guys, cognac, boozy whiskey, but it has that freshness to it that ozonic quality that's needed but it has that ozonic and fresh airy quality that's needed to pop off off your skin and into the air and i find that the majority of guerlain fragrances have that quality it has that freshness and ozonic nuance even in some of the offerings that are a lot more tobacco ambery and resinous heavy there's always that freshness and ozonic quality about guerlain fragrances which i absolutely adore that's why it's my favorite perfumery house guys but if you guys haven't checked this one out please please check this one out it's my favorite fragrance it is a masterpiece and i will be making a masterpiece video go ahead and leave a comment in the comment box below if you guys want to see me do a video of my masterpiece fragrances but nonetheless everyone i can't recommend this enough coming in from the house of guerlain this is going to be l'homme ideal extreme eau de parfum all right, coming in at number four on this list is going to be coming in from the house of Burberry. This is going to be Burberry Hero Eau de Toilette. Yeah, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Do not get the EDP, the Eau de Parfum, or the Parfum version. Those are trash. They're absolute trash. For me, it's always going to be a yes for me for EDT, Eau de Toilette, as this is a lot more masculine. It's a lot more sporty as well. And it's simple. It gets the job done with flying colors and in style, guys. 
check this one out if you haven't checked this one out. What does this smell like? It smells like cedar, black pepper, juniper, and bergamot. There are three different types of cedar within this fragrance, which makes it a extremely woody dominant fragrance, which I absolutely adore. And let's go ahead and spray some on skin so that you guys get an accurate impression of the atomizer. So on skin first, one, two, and three. Lovely atomizer. Perfect, perfect. And then in air. Yeah, it's fantastic. That's exactly what EDP and the Parfum version should have left off of. The Burberry should have just stuck with the DNA from Burberry Hero EDT and enhanced it a lot more. But unfortunately, that's not the case. But I can't recommend this enough. And I do recommend this as a blind buy, guys. Once again, if you like the idea of fragrances that are woody heavy and that are sporty and masculine smelling, this is it. This is so, so good. Unfortunately, I only have a 3.4 ounce version of this, but I will be getting a backup version of the five ounce version of this. And of course, this comes with a magnetic cap as well. So as you can see, like so, fantastic. This is worth all the hype. This is a blind buy. This is a dumb buy. I easily can reach for this any day as it is extremely versatile. Once again, guys, coming in from the house of Burberry, this is going to be Burberry Hero EDT or the toilet. All right, coming in at number three on this list is going to be coming in from the house of Mason Violet, and this one is going to be a beam. Oh man, you have no clue. You have no clue what this does to me. So I bought this as a blind buy simply because this has my favorite note, Palo Santo. Palo Santo. Palo Santo is a note that smells woody, ambery, smoky, incense-like. It's a very masculine note and I enjoy this so, so much. Simple, linear, but it does the job in flying colors it is fantastic and of course as i always preach to wear your fragrances unapologetically please wear this unapologetically if you don't know what i mean by wear your fragrances unapologetically you can go ahead and binge watch my videos as i just recently released me going into a little bit more depth of what i mean by wearing your fragrances unapologetically as i did release a short so go ahead and check that out but guys this is a fantastic option. Unfortunately, they don't have a extra de parfum version of this, which is so, so unfortunate. Because now before continuing, I do have to say, this is hands down one of the best atomizers that I have in my collection thus far of a collection of over 500 bottles. This is fantastic. Let's go ahead and spray some on skin and in air so that you guys get an accurate impression of the atomizer. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, and three. Really good. Hold on. In air. Okay. Fantastic. Absolutely phenomenal. I have to put some on for today. Hold on. Please, guys. Excuse me. Oh, man. That's fantastic. Fantastic. Cedar. Vetiver. And of course, my favorite note, Palo Santo. That smoky, incense, warm, ambery. Oh man, so, so good, guys. Blind buy this, it is a dumb buy, it is worth it. Absolutely, I assure you guys, you will not be disappointed. Check this one out, guys. Some of the notes found in this fragrance are gonna be black pepper, pimento, incense, cedar, and of course, Palo Santo, which gives it that bold quality to it. You cannot go wrong with this, guys. Easy blind buy. Once again, if you haven't checked this one out, please, please check this one out. This is a gate kept fragrance. No one likes to talk about this one, but I am sharing it with you guys. You are welcome here on Philip Carter X Official, and that's exactly why you should subscribe because I review banger fragrances, and that's why you should be subscribed, guys. Once again, coming in from the house of Maison Violet, this is going to be Ebim Eau de Parfum. All right, coming in at number two on this list is gonna be my signature scent. This is a fragrance that I wear four times in a week, and there's no exaggeration behind that, guys. I wear this four days a week, 
and I wear this any season, spring, summer, autumn, fall, winter, whatever it may be. This is my go-to fragrance. Coming in from the house of Guerlain, of course, this is going to be Quill Intense Eau de Parfum. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. This is exactly how leather fragrances should be done. Leathery, tobacco, smoky, oody. Oof. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. This is it. Of course, from Guerlain, this is a banger of a fragrance, guys. That's why it's my signature scent. When you guys see this fragrance, think of me. This is Philip Carter X Official. This is my signature scent. This is so lovely. This is so mesmerizing and hypnotizing. You have to love leather fragrances. If you do not like leather fragrances, then by no means should you be even thinking about this. This is wonderful. This is an excellent take of a romanticized French idea of a Middle Eastern leather fragrance. Wow, man, I can't say more than good things about it. Yes, of course, the biasness is that I'm going to always speak good of my signature scent, but believe me, it is worth it. Now, this is the redesigned bottle. Now, the difference that I detect from this and the original bottle, I'm not sure if it's reformulated or not. Now, the older version smelled a lot more lactonic, a lot more creamy, thick, and dense, as it did have some more woody nuances and facets to the fragrance itself. But nonetheless, guys, I do think that the current market option for Queer Intense is amazing if you don't like leather if you don't like tobacco or oud stay away from this because this is a bad boy in a bottle i absolutely love this and let's go ahead and spray this on skin and in air so that you guys get an accurate impression of the atomizer so on skin first one two and three man hypnotizing hypnotizing and in air Wow, yeah, wow. The dry down of this is absolutely immaculate and graceful. If you get this on your clothes, it's gonna stay on your clothes for the next 10 days, and it's going to be one of the best dry downs you've ever smelled thus far. It doesn't matter if you like leather fragrances or not. Incredible, absolutely incredible. It has that firmness, but it's so, so supple at the same time. This is a masterpiece as well, so thus far we have two masterpieces within this list. You're welcome, and that's why you should subscribe. I wish there was an extra concentration of this or a 250 ml option for this because I would buy it in a heartbeat and I would buy more than 10 of these. Once again, everyone, this is gonna be coming in from the house of Guerlain, and this is Cria Intense Eau de Parfum. All right, everyone, and finally coming in at number one on this list is gonna be coming in from the house of Amouage. This is going to be Jubilation Man 40. Wow, okay. Let's talk first. Let's just talk this out. This is not for everyone. Amouage fragrances are either a hit or a miss. It's either you love it or you hate them. There's no common ground. There's nothing in between. For me, there's a very big expensive price point on this. It's huge, $500 for something like this. Massive price point. Is it worth it? It depends. If you like Middle Eastern fragrances, in general, if you like fragrances that smell very niche as well, this may be for you. But I do not recommend that you buy this as a blind buy nor that you sample this with a five or 10 ml viral like so, because this will not do anything, especially for M wash fragrances. I overspray my fragrances for a reason because I have to get an accurate measurement of my fragrances to report back to you guys so that you guys don't have to waste your money. I wore this fragrance for one week straight, three days, which was just this fragrance alone on my skin and all my clothing between 15 to 25 sprays. And then for the next four days, I wore this as a layering fragrance. I think for my case, this is better as a layering fragrance. 
simply because this is at a 40% concentration does not mean that this is going to be a beast mode or nuclear mode fragrance. It simply means that it's going to be very oily on your skin and without a doubt it was very oily on my skin. Now performance wise in regards to longevity, yes it is amazing. 10 to 12 hours on my skin chemistry and then it goes over six days if you put it on your clothing. So if you put this on your clothing, spray this on your clothing like I do, this is going to stay on there for the next six days. It's fantastic. Now, performance wise, regarding projection and sillage, it's only going to be around an hour, maybe an hour and a half, simply because it wears very heavy. The actual spray itself, you can see that the molecules are a lot heavier. It's not really effervescent. It's not meant to disperse in the air. Rather, it's meant to sink on your skin to sit heavy on your skin that's what i mean by sitting heavy on your skin this is not for everyone once again if you wanted to sample this i would recommend that you go to a boutique or a store and sample it there so that you get a really good impression of what this is supposed to smell like on your skin chemistry or if you're a little bit more dedicated get a 25 or a 35 ml sample put the money up front and get it because you're not going to get anything with a 5 or 10 ml viral that is not going to do any justice especially for amouage fragrances again it's a hit or miss i've tried everything from overture to reflection to beach hut man to interlude these fragrances are a lot more challenging even for myself so this is growing on me not for the faint of heart it's going to take a minimum of a week to learn if you're going to love this or not simply because it continues to develop on your skin and on your clothing not for everyone what does this smell like this smells very sappy and green if i had to put it in the most brutal context of what does this smell like very sappy very green think of uh, maple syrup from a tree you're getting a lot of green nuances from the divana and from cypress you get a lot of amber a lot of resins and then you do get some sweetness from the black currants and the blackberry and then some earthy undertones from patchouli as well off of my nose a very complex composition for a fragrance and i'm not going to list every note because it's just a lot so for me if i had to really generally describe what this would smell like green camphorous smoky uh, sappy but i would say green sappy if anything and let's go ahead and spray this on skin and on air so that you guys get an accurate impression of the atomizer here we go one two and three so it's not the best but let's go ahead and smell that yeah challenging extremely challenging now let's go ahead and spray this in air as well one two three wow and as you can see some of the particles are still floating around because it's very heavy, but it sinks pretty fast because it's meant to attack the skin. You can see that's the oil. That's what it's going to look like for the next 10 to 12 hours on your skin. So for me currently, it's going to be a yes for me, but this is more for a layering fragrance for myself and my Middle Eastern fragrances within my collection. I usually like to layer this with something like Oud Aquilaria by Oman Luxury or Initial Parfums Oud for Greatness. Those are fantastic options. Some of the more notable notes within this fragrance are going to be frankincense, myrrh, incense, divana, patchouli, blackberry, and black currant. This will boost any fragrance that has oud in it, in particular, 1,000-fold, without any doubt without any doubt. Once again, everyone, from the house of Amouage, this is going to be Jubilation 40 Man. All right, everyone, and that does conclude today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed today's video. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, first of all, welcome to my channel. Go ahead and subscribe. When you subscribe, it helps me to create a lot more content for you guys at a faster pace, but I need your help, so go ahead and subscribe because then we can start giving free giveaways and free stuff on this channel, but I need your help. And if you haven't checked out the Patreon page, go ahead in the description box below and check out the Patreon page and leave a donation as this channel does run on donations from my subscribers and my personal funds as well. So go ahead and check out the Patreon page. 
Philip Carter X Official is going to be my tag on all of my social media accounts. And of course, Philip Carter X Official is going to be my Instagram tag where I post more about menswear, men's style, men's lifestyle, men's skincare, and of course, perfumery. As always, everyone, thank you very much for watching today. Philip Carter X Official out. Bye bye for now.